Hey guys, this is Shuman from AAC Technical. Today I'm going to show you how to fix bootrec space forward slash fixboot access is denied in Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803. First of all, I want to inform you that we made a video about this issue before, but several users have said that after continuing the process, they came back to the access is denied error when they got the bootrec space forward slash fixboot step. Here I would like to inform you that the command bootrec space forward slash fixboot to repair the boot configuration data in case of Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803 has been a little bit changed. And one more thing, you can understand when you watch our previous video, there we fix the access is denied issue or error code 0xc0000225 using Windows 8.1 installation media. However, if you have encountered an error during to fix boot configuration data in case of Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803, then this video is for you. Also, this video will help you to add boot files to a PC after applying a new Windows image. Repair the system partition and set up or repair the boot menu on a dual boot PC. Definitely, this video will help you solve this problem. Well, let's get started. At first let me show you what happened in my case. Alright, this PC has installed two Microsoft operating system. I mean this is a dual boot PC. In the C drive has Windows 10 build 1709 and in the D drive has Windows 10 latest build 1803 as you can see. Now let me show you the main issue which that happened in my case. Alright, after restarting, as you can see that boot menu is not loading and is automatically and directly taking to the Windows 10 build 1709. Alright, in order to fix this issue, you should have a Windows installation media. If you don't have, you can easily get that by following me. If you already done this job, then you can skip this part of the video and watch this video from after read Windows installation media. Alright, now just follow me properly.
all right next insert the windows installation media and just restart your laptop and be ready to enter your pc's bios with hitting on f2 key or hitting on f2 plus dell combination for desktop computer all right next go to boot tab as you can see this pc's bios mode or boot mode is uefi if your pc's bios mode or boot mode shows legacy then don't worry about it just keep watching this video we will guide you at every steps now just select your windows installation media using up and down arrow key on the keyboard and just move this windows installation media upwards of the list using f6 key on the keyboard and f5 key for downwards if you don't understand then you can see the instructions on bios item specific help all right now just press f10 key on the keyboard and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from bios now be patient for a little while All right, then just click on next and then click on repair your computer. Next click on troubleshoot option. Next I just click on command prompt. All right, now let me show you by typing the command bootrec space forward slash fix boot then hit enter yeah as you can see here shows that access is denied whatever the issue now let's fix it now type the command this part and then hit enter next type the command list disk and then hit enter before typing the next command note select the disk number which is your boot disk here's mine boot disk number is zero so I just type here cell disk 0 and then hit enter. Next type the command disk hall and then hit enter. Then you will see the EFI system partition and system drive. Before type the next command. Note select the volume number. Which volume is your EFI system partition? Here's mine EFI system partition number is 4. So I just type here cell hall 4 and then hit enter before type the next command note we suggest picking a drive letter between m and z because earlier drive letters may still get assigned to drives that don't always show up in file explorer like optical and removable card drives m through z are almost never used on most windows systems so i just type here assigned letter equals to v colon then hit enter. Now you should see the message disk bar successfully assigned the drive letter or mount point. Alright, next type the command exit. Then hit enter. Next type the command v colon. Then hit enter. Note after you have assigned a drive letter, now you are able to format the EFI partition. Well, let me show you if your EFI system partition assigned letter is v, then the command would be format space v colon space forward slash fs colon fat32 and then hit enter now you should see the warning message about formatting the assigned drive v all right if you format the drive press y for yes and press n for not all right i just type here n for not because we'll suggest you that at first try to fix the issues without formatting all right next type the final command bcd boot space c colon backward slash windows space forward slash s space v colon space forward slash f space uefi Note, this species BIOS mode or boot mode is UEFI. That's why here I have typed UEFI. If your species boot mode or BIOS mode is legacy, then type here BIOS instead of UEFI. And if your PC's boot files support earlier a UEFI based or BIOS based computer, then type here all instead of UEFI. 
all right now hit on enter that's it now you should see the message board file successfully created you are done as you can see now just type here exit and then hit enter Next, select and click on Turn off your PC. Now eject the removable drive from your PC. Now be patient for a little while. Alright, I just turn on my PC. Here yeah, as you can see that the boot menu has been fixed of this dual boot PC. Now let's check Windows 10 build 1709 and Windows 10 build 1803 both are working properly or not. Alright, as you can see that Windows 10's both builds are working properly. We hope you will like. Of course, let us know your opinion. If you have any question, then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.